I am going on a COVID staycation because I've hit that point. It's Thursday night, February 11th. And I just booked an entire cottage for myself. I'm going tomorrow. So I need to pack right now before I fall asleep and wake up and go to work and then it's time to go check in. Oh my God, it's gonna happen so fast. I'm so excited, let's do this. I'm excited to just get there and drink lots of wine and maybe watch a movie and sit in a bath. Pretty much everything I do at home every single night, but change of scenery. Hopefully that will change everything and cure the seasonal and mental illnesses in my brain because of COVID. Yeah. Okay, so backpack in case I go hiking the next day. I actually have a cold front coming in this weekend. It's supposed to be like 10 degrees, so I probably won't go hiking on Saturday. I'll probably just wake up and come home. No, I take that back. I'm gonna do something on my way home. I have leggings and then another pair of pants to go over my leggings. Sports bra, but let's be honest, don't need that. Makeup bag, underwear, you don't need to see that. It was like a vintage Adidas beanie. A little brown crop top. Got my vanilla chai caffeine tea because I just use any stupid little excuse to drink caffeine. So I'm like, oh, time to pack caffeine. Some cute fingerless gloves. Black zip up hoodie that I'll wear under my puffer. Cute wool socks. Pretty sure these are my little sisters but I've had them long enough where I just convinced myself that they're mine. A brown like sweater cardigan thing that I found at the thrift store recently that I'm obsessed with and literally is an exact dupe of the Unif Bean sweater, I think it's called. It has the collar and the buttons and like almost like a wide ribbed fabric. It's incredible and I will show you guys it better tomorrow night when I'm wearing it in my little cabin in the woods, getting wine drunk by myself. Pink, velvety, flared sweatpants. I'm going to bring a notebook, cause you never know if I wanna doodle or just make lists to try to ease my anxiety with what am I doing with my life. But Oh, and I wanna bring the book I'm currently reading. I'm not gonna bring my Nintendo Switch, so I'll try to stay off of technology for the night. Charger. So yeah, I'm gonna pack some food and I will check back in with you guys tomorrow when I'm driving to the cottage. Why do I keep doing this? That's really annoying and weird. YouTuber things. Okay, that worked out perfectly. I just got off work. It's 3.40, I got off a little early, and check-in time is at four. So I'm gonna go find a liquor store and head on over. <laughs> officially settled in and there's no TV kind of love that I purposefully set up the camera here just to get this fridge in the shot like once I saw this fridge online I found this place on booking.com and it was super easy to get the place like I didn't even have to call or talk to anyone I just did it last night on the computer and done but when I saw this fridge I was like yep that's the place like look at this Oh my God, I'm obsessed with her. I am obsessed with her. I'm pretty sure there's like this Indiana Jones movie where he like gets inside of a fridge like this 
and like survives like a nuclear bomb or something and that's what i always think of when i see a fridge like this i don't know so i'm gonna do a little alcohol haul show you what i got all cheap i'm not gonna drink all of this tonight but kind of just stocked up why do i keep doing this whatever, whatever i don't drink tonight i'm just gonna take home anyway a whole box <laughs> so the first thing that i got never seen this type of vodka before maybe i'm just living under a rock but new n-u-e and to make a mixed drink i thought this bottle was cute just some sweet and sour drink mix ready to use it's called roses i've also never seen this stuff before um yeah so i got grapefruit vodka and a lemon mixer and just gonna probably add like a little sugar and a shit ton of ice and that'll be a good little easy drink a cheap bottle of rosé. This is Solidarity Rosé, Wine of Spain. And then last thing I got, Planta Red Wine Blend, product of Portugal. We got Portugal and a Spain wine. 2019 Red Drink Smoothie as well. And the and the please Academy Malbec Drinker. I promise the whole vlog won't just be like me here standing in the kitchen. I'm gonna do other things as soon as I get tipsy first. Is this a cork? Yeah. That sound. standing in the kitchen but here i am they gave me this cute little like valentine's day thing it's like a free gift but like what is this it's like a little pillow on a stick <laughs> whatever i love it it's gonna be my new like wand bippity boppity boop yeah the whole no technology thing not really working out i started watching hbo I know, I hate myself too, but whatever. I can like wake up and journal and take a long hike and do like half the day tomorrow, no technology. So no reason to be like too hard on yourself. No reason for any of that. We're all just living life, baby. We're all just trying to survive in 2021. What am I saying? Uh, I just want to like hold it like this like I'm doing like one of these things like what's that thing monkey see monkey here monkey do <laughs> uh, I look so tired my eyes can't open I need my blue light glasses <laughs> hug me Does it look like someone's making out with me? Alright, I'm done. I am done. I should not be balancing my camera like this. Oh my god. I've been watching the show Search Party. It is hilarious. I seriously thought that the girl in Search Party was the same girl from Spy Kids. I literally had to Google it and check. And when I realized that they're two different people, I was fucking mind blown. But yeah, it's a really good show. It's hilarious and like kind of suspenseful and also kind of like psychological. So I really like it. But yeah, I'm just gonna watch that show and go to bed. Also another thing, I feel like time is going by really slow. And I think that's because when I'm at home, I'm like, Oh, I'll just do a little dishes. I'll just like tidy up my bathroom. And I'll play Xbox for like 45 minutes. I'll sit on my computer and scroll through Pinterest for like 20 minutes. I'm really enjoying this for that fact. Like it's just so nice. I'm just appreciating every minute I have right now because I'm not in my own apartment, so. This is your sign to go take a staycation. Doesn't have to be far, but just do it. Save up the money and do it airbnb bread and vet bread <laughs> bread Be 
bed and breakfasts are pretty affordable. Just do it. Okay, I'm forcing myself to go to bed now. Bye, good night. can actually see that behind me. It's so bright and white that I can't see the camera screen at all. But that's okay. The sun actually came out for a little bit. It was snowing all morning. I was a little worried about driving down the mountain to get out of here, but it was fine. My car only slid like 47 times, but I made it down to the bottom. I'm alive and I'm going to eat this free cookie that they gave me with this nice view behind me. So enjoy this free cookie ASMR with the most majestic view behind me. Boulder, Colorado, ladies and gentlemen. This is what romanticizing life looks like. There's so many people walking on the trail behind me. My toes are definitely going to fall off. Like, absolutely, they are just going to fall off of my body. I have about 35 minute drive to get home. Pretty excited about that. I need a hot shower. I didn't end up showering this morning because I woke up at like 8.30 and I called them. I was like, hey, can I extend my checkout time? Cause it was at 10. They're like, no, we have way too many people coming in tonight. You're gonna have to leave at 10. I just had some coffee and breakfast and read a little bit and then packed up and got out of there. Some of the houses around here are fucking insane. Like huge, huge windows. So they just get to see this view every morning, afternoon and night. Say it with me folks, big goals. All right. I need to finish this cookie and walk back to my car. I am literally so cold. It's actually zero degrees outside, but thankfully it's like a five minute walk back to my car. Yeah, I hope this inspires you to do something like this. I mean, it's somewhat affordable. You can bring your own food. You know, if you have a car and you have access to places like this, just do it. I really needed this and I'm really glad that I did it. And it's something that I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. And it's only a one night thing. Love that. All right logging off i hope you enjoyed watching like and subscribe if you did goodbye there's icicles hanging from my nose